welcome back to my channel. I'm Kelly from Kelly Lee Creates and I teach lettering and digital design. So today I have a Procreate tutorial for you and I'm going to show you how to easily find a layer in your design without having to scroll endlessly through the layers panel. So this is a design that I have created and as you can see, it's got lots and lots of layers, which is good. You want to work with layers in Procreate because when you work with layers, you can adjust one layer um, and edit one layer without uh, messing up the other layers. So for this design, you can see that I have like all these stars around one layer and then the sparkles are on another layer and the text and the shadows, everything is on a separate layer, which is good when you're creating to keep things separate. But the more layers you get, the harder it is to find things in this layers panel, especially when you don't label your layers. As you can see here, I didn't label any of these. They're just, they have numbers, layer 27, layer 15, layer 18. Usually I label them, but for some reason for this, in this uh, piece, I didn't. So I'm gonna show you a very easy way to find the layer that you need without having to scroll through the layers panel. So say I wanted to edit the layer with the stars here. Say I wanted to add a star or erase a star or just move things around. All I need to do is tap one of the stars. And if you can see, the layer number pops up really quickly there. It says layer 22. Now you don't have to remember that number or the name of the layer if you named it, because once you tap it, and the layer pops up. If you come over here to the layers panel, it is automatically selected. Layer 22. So you can see if I turn this on and off, that is the layer with the stars. So if I wanted to say I wanted to edit the text, I would just tap on the text on the white and it came up layer 15. And if you tap on the layers panel, you can see that layer 15 is highlighted. And so you're good to go. You can then erase or add or edit this layer however you want. Now, when, if you want to, if you want to find like the layers, like the, uh, the 3D layers or these shadow layers right here, you're going to have to zoom in a little bit and then tap. So that came up as layer 15 and it's highlighted right here. And you can see that that is the 3D effect that I created for my text. So that's all great, but how do you set this up? Because this is not the default when you start with Procreate, but there's a very easy way to set this up. We're going to set it up through gesture controls. So to do that, you're going to come over here to the wrench, tap on the wrench, and it is under gesture controls right here. So tap on gesture controls. And then on the left hand side here, you can see everything that you can do with gesture controls. And one of the items is layer select. So tap on layer select, and then here you can customize it. So there are a few options. There's touch, there's finger touch while holding down the um, square um, slider. There's the square slider and the Apple pencil. There's touch and hold. So I, you can choose whatever you want but I found that the easiest way is touch. So just toggle on touch and hit done. 
and then when you touch it, the layer number comes up and it's highlighted in your layer panel. Now I want to show you, let's try the touch and hold right here and tap done. And I'm going to do it with the stars again. So I'm just going to touch this, but I'm going to hold it for a minute. And you can see there that the layer number pops up. It says layer 22. And it is selected in your layers panel. So you can customize it however you want. I like to use the touch because I use the touch and hold for, for the color, um, the color picker. So I like to use touch. But you can also um, toggle it on with a touch holding the square, the slider, and a touch. So let's do that. We'll toggle that on, hit done. And then here is the square on the slider that they're talking about. So it's you hold down this and touch a portion of your design. And layer 22, which is the stars. But again, I find that the touch is the easiest to do. So that is how you quickly find a layer in your design without having to actually scroll through the layers panel to do it. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new tutorials. And if you want more Procreate tutorials, make sure to visit my blog at kellyleecreates.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.